Elephant trunks are truly fascinating. And in so, the team at Elephant Voices have referenced over 150 different behaviours that incorporate use of their trunk, whether it be tactile, visual, acoustic, chemical or seismic in nature. In episode 10 of our Elephant Behaviour series, we take a look at the behaviour called J-Trunk. This series was created by our team to share examples from our archives of footage that can highlight various behaviours that have been researched and referenced by the team at Elephant Voices. Before you continue, we'd like to share a word of thanks to the team at Elephant Voices for their hard work in creating and sharing the official elephant ethogram. The behaviour J-trunk can be seen in six different types or contexts of behaviour, namely advertising and attraction, ambivalent, attacking and mobbing, attentive, conflict and confrontation, and finally, vigilance. But for this video, we are focusing on J-trunk in an attentive context. So what does attentive mean? Elephant Voices describes the context attentive as follows. Behaviors employed to attend to the actions of other elephants or to non-threatening incidents in the environment or the contemplation of such actions or incidents. Elephant Voices describes the behavior J-trunk as follows. Holding the trunk in a relaxed position, perhaps hanging down, resting on the ground or over a trunk, but with the tip of the trunk curled under and around such that the trunk fingers point in the direction of an object of interest, often behind or to its side. As the individual sniffs, the fingers of the trunk can be seen to partially open and close. This behavior is a component of a number of attentive or vigilant behavioral constellations. For those wondering what they refer to as a constellation, it is when a group of behaviors form a recognizable pattern of behaviors that are often seen together, which can then be identified as a specific context of behavior. J-trunk is a subtle form of sniffing and appears to be used when the individual would not necessarily have reason to make others aware of his or her object of interest or a plan. So let's rewind in time to some examples of J-trunk from our herd archives. In our first clip, you can see Lindy at the side of the water's edge. She is standing next to Kanisa, Pisa and Zendoga. If you watch the movement of her trunk, you can see the J-shaped formation at the end of her trunk by the distal portion. You can see how she is turning it slowly towards the direction of the subject behind her that she's trying to pick up a better scent from. We recently posted about this interesting video where Jabalani encounters a lone hippo who is sitting in the water. You can see how Jabalani bends his trunk in a J-trunk formation and points it towards the hippo to gather more information using scent. Now in this scenario, he is trying to ascertain the situation and still determining if the hippo is a threat or not. So this would be an example of a J-trunk behavior in a different context, other than to attentive, which we are showcasing in this episode but perhaps more like conflict and confrontation. But in future episodes, we hope to bring more examples in the five other contexts that you can find the behavior J-trunk.
this video is taken in March of this year, 2024, and you can see Kasiri and Satombe proudly leading the herd and following the cameraman, or should we say camera lady, Adine. Satombe uses the J trunk behavior a few times as she tries to gather more information about the scent of Adine or perhaps something beyond Adine in the further distance. Kumbura and Kanisa are taking some time out together. Kumbura is staying close to Kanisa while Kanisa enjoys a good dusting lie down. Kumbura will be ensuring she is safe by looking out for any potential dangers. Her trunk is pointed towards Adine and the carers to pick up scent and information, making sure that she is happy that Kanisa continues to lie down safely. The herd are heading towards the dam for a midday swim. As they walk towards the dam, you can see Mumbo's J-trunk behaviour as he points his trunk in the direction of where they are headed to learn more from the scents that await them ahead. Mumbo again. Here he has taken some time out in the afternoon sun on his own and enjoying a good bum scratch while he uses his trunk, forming a J-trunk formation pointing towards Adine and the carers. Quite happy that there was nothing to be concerned about, he goes on his way and carries on walking in the next direction. It was so beautiful how the herd just accepted and protected Pabeni so quickly, especially Satombi and her daughter Klaseri. In this clip you can see how the herd are quite close in proximity to Pabeni and you will see how Satombi uses her trunk to ensure she was familiar with the person that was approaching and that Pabeni would be safe. This is a quick and sweet little clip of Kanisa and Tamisa on the way back to the homestead after a day out in the bush. Kanisa takes a turn to join Nadine who has taken the video, but Tamisa heads on in a straight direction, perhaps curious to what she is picking up with her J-trunk behaviour. Fishin is seen on his own in the wild here recently, where Adine approached him to see how he was feeling, as it turned out he had a brief bout of colic. He had been lying down and as she got closer, he stood up and turned his trunk in a J-trunk shape in the direction of Adine, who approached him and greeted him. This is Sutombe. Watch how her trunk automatically assumes the J-trunk position as she approaches the Dean to help her olfactory senses provide as much information as possible about the subject she is approaching, which in this case again is a Dean. Sun is beautiful right eh? back. Can I start the end? Just morning. Hold on. 
Our final example is a front row seat to Kanisa walking. It's still a mystery how Dean can walk backwards and take a video so smoothly. But fortunately, we are able to get unique moments like this on camera. Kanisa is leading the herd, and as she walks forwards, she uses her trunk on two occasions in a J trunk formation to gather more information, probably about a Dean walking ahead of her, or perhaps from something behind a Dean too. So that's it for episode 10. Thank you for watching our video and watching all the examples of J-Trunk in action. We hope that it will give you a better understanding of yet another interesting elephant behavior to recognize when observing elephants, whether it be online or in person. If you haven't seen all of the episodes, you can watch them by clicking on our Elephant Behaviors playlist, which keeps them all in one place and makes them easy to find. Cheerio for now.